This week, we highlight another life well lived. When 21 year old Tiger Woods burst onto the stage with a record 12 stroke win at the 1997 Masters, he stopped afterward to give special thanks to a man named Lee Elder. 22 years earlier, Elder became the first black player ever to compete at the iconic tournament. One of 10 children, Elder dropped out of high school to caddy and to pursue his interest in golf. After a two-year stint in the Army, he started to get serious about the game, playing in the United Golfers Association, a tour for black players who were excluded in ways formal and implied from the PGA Tour. By 1968, Elder's talent was undeniable, and he made the jump, even taking the great Jack Nicklaus to a playoff at one tournament during his rookie season. But for an invitation to the Masters, Elder would have to win. In 1974, he did, qualifying to play at Augusta National in 1975. Elder received death threats and moved between two rented houses in Augusta, Georgia for his own security. His lasting memory of that week at the Masters, though, was of members of the Augusta National staff, most of them black, stepping out to line the 18th fairway and give him a standing ovation. Elder would play in five more Masters, and just this year, he served as the honorary starter of the tournament. After Tiger became the youngest ever Masters champion, he said of Elder, He was the first. He was the one I looked up to. Because of what he did, I was able to play here. Lee Elder, an American trailblazer, died last Sunday in Escondido, California. He was 87 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.